Oh, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. This is James Mathers at NAB 2019 for the Digital Cinema Society and Studio Daily. I'm here at the Light and Motion booth, and Daniel Emerson's going to tell us about the new lights. 1,000? Uh, that's 10,000, James. 10,000? <laughs> yes. Uh, this little diminutive light um, is actually kicks out an amazing 10,000 lumens. Um, it's got a rotary dial to control its power. Um, super easy to use. Um, ultra compact. A complete kit with 10,000 lumens in it fits in this little portable case. Um, that includes all the modifiers from barn doors to a 50 degree optic to a 25 degree optic to um, a gel holder, uh, e even a glow bulb. So um, that's really a new offering for us. And you know, the beauty of this light, uh, which is, is the light of choice of some major um, networks now uh, for, for roving reporters, um, is it's easy to detap off uh, you know, conventional V-mount batteries. So really a really, really powerful, small, compact light that makes it easy to get out and get the story. I know many of your other lights are fully submersible. This one probably is uh, pretty weather resistant also. It's absolutely weather resistant. Um, the, the entire unit is sealed. Uh, there's only an external fan that can be damaged. Um, and all, all these lights are related, rated for a one meter drop on concrete, so they're very robust. And one of the things we're hearing at this show, it's been exciting to be at NAB this year, um, there's a different tone about lighting. I think people are recognizing that it's not, a just, it's not about just dumping a lot of light on the scene. Um, there's a lot more people talking about how we shape light and how we, how we selectively use light to, um, to generate more effect. And what people are discovering is there's really a, a renaissance of hard lights because hard lights give you so much more control, and uh, this Stella Pro 10,000 is a beautiful little hard light, and you can do an awful lot with it. I know it makes a great all-around light. Uh, I used it for an underwater scene uh, on my last feature, and I ended up using it uh, every day for one thing or another. It makes a great hard light that you can uh, cut with barn doors. Yeah, and you know our, 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 our stock and trade is built-in battery lights, so the 10,000 is a bit of a departure, but really we wanted to uh, offer the market something that was um, remotely powered as opposed to internally powered. So um, this really completes our offering. So we have, we, we can do any type of hard light now. What are some of the techniques you have for softening it? Yeah, these lights can all be easily softened and that's one of the advantages. Um, you have a single fixture that can do both hard or soft. Um, and this little 10,000, um, you may not believe it, but it can power quite a large uh, soft box and here's a Chimera over here in our booth um, showing that's being powered by this light. Uh, tell us a little bit about your heritage. I know that uh, I'm a diver so you started with underwater lighting. Uh, we did. Um, we've been around 30 years building our lights in California um, and our car customer is a tough customer. Uh, they travel to remote locations, they abuse their gear uh, and it's in harsh environments and and what they have asked us to do for 30 years is build the most powerful, smallest, compact lights available. And that's really what we're experts at. Um, and that's what we bring to uh, our topside shooters. If you're interested in small lights that are easy to travel with, that are remarkably powerful, Light in Motion is the brand. Now, uh, since we're talking about small, this is 10,000, yep. 5,000. Tell us about the little guy. Um, this is a 2,000 lumen light, which is still a, a lot of power. Um, again, this is entirely sealed, waterproof. You can use it anywhere. Uh, and it uses all the same modifiers as the, as the 10. Um, so that's your 25 degree spot. Um, we use this very secure, simple press-on um, to, to uh, put, put the modifiers on the lights. Um, and again, any modifier snaps onto the face. Um, and so do barn doors. So everything's interchangeable. Um, it's a simple kit. I really, really, really designed it to give you maximum flexibility with the fewest number of bits and pieces. I know they're great lights. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you, Jim. Hello.